Good 11, the mixed reaction to Mayor John Cranley's plan to put a soccer stadium in Oakley. And much of that reaction comes from the people whose support he will need to make this plan a true reality. In brief here, it would use a special property tax fund called a TIF, money from the sale of the Blue Ash Airport, combined with the hotel tax money to pay for the infrastructure around the stadium. FC Cincinnati would also get a tax break for creating jobs. The total plan is worth right around $66 million. Ashley Zilka, well, she spent tonight getting the first reactions to the mayor's plan. Ashley, what are people saying? Craig and Tanya, the mayor emailed this proposal to city council late today. One of the first things he will have to do, get a majority of council members to back his plan. It's a big, long set of pages, and then we'll all look at it very carefully, but I feel very positive about it. If you ask Vice Mayor David Mann what he thinks about the mayor's proposal, he'll tell you it's got his attention. We're talking about jobs. We're talking about community vibrancy. This is a rendering of the proposed FC Cincinnati Stadium in Oakley. The team will pay for the stadium, but it needs infrastructure. The mayor says his plan goes beyond soccer. I'm willing to promise that thousands of jobs will follow this public infrastructure uh, when completed. Not everyone is on board. Councilman Chris Silbach said in a tweet, if they want public dollars, let's have the public benefit just as much as the wealthy white guys. If you want an MLS franchise, you got to play by their rules. We may not like them. I like Nippert Stadium. Here's the mayor's breakdown. The city would cover $37 million worth of infrastructure cost, 7.3 million from the sale of the Blue Ash Airport, 1.5 million from the city's share of the hotel motel tax for 30 years, and 9.5 million from existing TIF resources in Oakley. A TIF uses increases in property values to help pay for development. Some of the tools that he set forth are tools that we use uh, very often for uh, major developments. Uh, we're not putting any direct money into the stadium. We're looking at public infrastructure. I think that's important. Another question, how will the county help? The commissioners say Paul Brown Stadium is their first choice, but the team says that won't work. The commission's plan B is to pay for a parking garage that would cost $15 million. Ashley Zilka, not on your side. It's widely believed that FC Cincinnati has two real principal competitors for this expansion, Nashville and Sacramento. Nashville is all in already. Its city council has approved a plan to spend $275 million for their new stadium, and Sacramento has already started work on their stadium, and it will have 20,000 seats. So where do we go from here? Let's take a look at the timeline. FC Cincinnati, Hamilton County, and the city, they're gonna have a conference call with MLS. That'll be early next week sometime, right? To talk about Paul Brown Stadium. That's the week of the 27th. Mayor Cranley hopes that that's when City Council and Hamilton County sign off on his financing plan. But the deadline for the application to the MLS, that is December 4th. MLS says it will announce two new New expansion teams on the 14th of December. Tight timeline. Nine on your side will stay on top of this for you as it develops. Download our mobile app so you can get push alerts and news breaks.